it, you know, it comes down to when, when in the fuck, when in the blue fuck are, are these, when in the blue fuck are these females going to be responsible for the shit that they do to fellas out here? You know, you can't go around and act like a nine-year-old because you see a toy and you don't want to play with it anymore. You just put it down. It don't work like that, man. There's always got to be some sort of recompense and some sort of responsibility that you have taken on when you got with the individual that you're with. But you have a lot of sisters out here that had these sneaky jokes to say, well, I want to be in a relationship, but I want to be single in a relationship. You, you want the benefit of, uh, of having a quote unquote good man around well a good man around and you want to be single while doing it. And you expect this man that loves authentically because dudes ain't walking around giving their hearts up to no female. Trust me, you're not trustworthy enough on, on the surface because of everything that is going on. So when you find one that does give up, you know, his heart and time and resources and stuff like that. Most, like I said before, most are not even questioning the work that he did to even get to the point in his life where he can say, I'm secure enough to give this of myself to a woman or quote unquote, what he thought is a, a whole woman. And like I said before, when it comes down to the, the putting down of the toy, the dude is usually villainized to say, well, he won't leave me alone. He won't stop talking to me. He won't this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. When in all actuality, you were responsible for something, and you mishandled it. When in all actuality, being an adult and having an adult conversation, like I said before, would be more than enough for a man to respect you or continue to respect you because you have disrespected him and discounted him. Yeah, well, yeah, um, levels of respect, man. I think that that shit is kind of like a misnomer now when 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 dealing with. A lot of females nowadays. Oh, cause, cause they want to be dudes. Oh, you can talk to me and type. Well, I'm gonna talk to you. No, 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 no. First of all, guys don't talk the same way as we do as women. So it's a difference right there. You you might think he's being some type of way, but all men have a level of. Especially when they're passionate about something, you're going to feel the passion. It's just going to come out that way. Hmm. But that doesn't mean he's being disrespectful. A lot of females will take any sort of that as being disrespectful. And it's not. You're just very passionate about what you're talking about. And you need to learn how to read between the lines. Like, mm -hmm. he's not calling you out your name. You're not doing no crazy stuff. He's just passionate. So just calm down and listen to what he got to say. You interrupt people, you know. Um, you always got to be right. Like none of that stuff is helpful. If what you're really trying to do is to come to some sort of resolution. And a lot of females don't think about that. Well, most females don't, they don't want to come to a resolution. The resolution is they want it their way. Right. And, and if and it's not their way, then way. yeah, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. 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 I can find somebody else that's going to do it the way I want it done. They don't want to be accountable. And all of that doesn't need to be said. It's already in, like, okay, he's already thinking about that. But you don't need to add insult to injury and say something like that, unless that's your intention, which most of the times it is. So you're just seeing how nasty that person is. Because, like I said, if you were really about resolution, you would check yourself and the things that you're saying in order to get that resolution. Mm. And they're not going for that. Yeah. That's how you know that you're dealing with somebody who's mature and who's really about their stuff. They're going to check their own cells and monitor their mouth. Yeah, but and she, say only what needs to be said. But here you go. Now it goes back to what I was saying earlier about how I can understand how a man would want to break your jaw. 
yeah. as a female is out here is moving recklessly without any regard for the respect of the man that you're talking to. Don't go because you don't respect yourself and out here and disrespect a man, especially a black man is living with double, uh, uh, double uh, uh, fucking levels of aggression in his life that he got to deal with. You know what I mean? Make him feel ina further inadequate in the society in which he always has to be on his points. Man. I don't know. Um, Listen. I was, I was like, raised just, just, to be disrespectful. You know, I was thinking about that this morning. Like, but, but no, 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 no. Just like the whole dude I told you that was paying the girls, half the fucking girls rent or mortgage or whatever you want to call it. And couldn't even come to the house when he got ready or wanted to. Or if he didn't he didn't even have a key, let alone a code or anything else. It's crazy. But here you go. Let's say he shows up and then she doesn't even open the door because nine times out of ten, she got somebody else inside. What should that man or what would be the recourse for that man if he found out that there was another man inside that house he's paying half of it for? How should he react? How should he react? See, most people will say, well, he's a fool for paying it, blah, 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 first and foremost. Okay, cool. Back up. Back up. Man believes that there's value in this woman or value in being with this woman, so he does what he believes a man's supposed to do. Help out. Contribute to a place that he's coming to. Cool. Right. Secondly, jokers would say, well, he should have just walked away. Mm. Right. Wouldn't be me. I'm going to burn that motherfucker down with both of them in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get my money back out their ass, out of her ass, whatever it is. And I'm sorry, dude, you only, you ain't got nothing to do with what's going on. But, yeah, this is a this is a picture that she painted, and we got to go ahead and make it a fresco. Mm. I feel like in, in those situations, like, you can't, you can't fault somebody who's been used for the reaction that they have, like, no, nah, you ain't about to use and abuse me and then expect for me to just be like, okay, no, nah, I want to do something to you and you don't get to decide what happens. That, that, that's the point I've been making all the time. You can't play with people and expect them to play with you in, in the manner in which you playing with them. Nah. You ain't even got to like, like you don't even have not. to, you don't even have to like a motherfucker, right? You don't have to respect them, meaning that I'm not even dealing with you at all. But if I step across your boundary and I bring you a move, that means I went out of my way to ensure that you feel what I'm going to do to you. Right. So on that note, I think that at every turn, the individuals who are disrespected deserves the right to fuck those individuals up. Yeah. But even with Diddy, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. They talking about. Okay, now, now honestly, there's only three counts on the goddamn doc on the uh, on the on the on the uh, on the thing, right? On the um, charging documents, on the indictment. Mm -hmm. But here you go. You know, back in the day, you used to you used to bring um, strippers across. You know, they would come and pay them to come places and shit like that. You know, that's a part that's a part of sex work, correct? You know, because mm -hmm. basically it's simulated sex, they stripping and whatever. So you pay them. Let's say you we, we hear you, you you pay a dancer from D.C. to come to Maryland. You pay a, a dancer from New York to come to Jersey. That's sex trafficking. Right. That's one form or could be. But because I'm a man and I'm with my woman and. I'm a freak and I want to watch somebody else do it to you. I, it's no it's no law against having some cuckold you is what, what it's called. Right. Yeah. OK, so. Here you go. This is how I'm going to pour this into what, what I'm talking about now. How everybody around him was getting paid or has gotten paid in some way, shape, or form. And when they felt that this wasn't the place for them, they slam him. Take his money, take his opportunities, take his secrets, and then slam him. I don't believe that anyone that was around was not a willing participant that had that's now turned victim based on their regrets after they wake up after a hard night and wondering what the hell I did. But the bigger picture is that his relationship with some other folks went sour. And now he's punishing or being punished for him for his playing with them, i.e. pulling away from their situation or their deal. And this is that. But on a personal note, these are the things we deal with every day.
Same thing. Yeah. The same values that he's playing with hundreds of millions of dollars of lifestyle, his children, his houses, and all that bullshit. There's like, let's think about it. If, if women were the ones to court men and all of a sudden, boom, after all the courtship, you get turned away. I promise you, there'd be a lot of dudes out here with burnt down houses and slashed up tires and motherfuckers sitting outside the job, all kinds of shit. Be shot, hit with bowling balls, a bunch of shit. <laughs> now, well, the world would literally come to an end. It'd be people getting blown up and all up. Nah, you'd see some mass murders. I, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Because women operate off of emotion, and whatever comes from that emotion, they ain't thinking about nothing. They just think about getting back. Think about what and, they feel at the moment. Whatever they feeling that at the moment. Feeling lasts, and people drum upon those feelings and. Like they say, I guess, uh, uh, ain't no woman like a scorned woman or something hmm. like that. Hmm. Well, what yeah. if the woman, what if the woman's doing the scorning? Cause this is basically the, 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 the census nowadays is that the women are doing the scorning. The women are doing the scorning. Like They're addicted to it. So it's just going to keep going until somebody check them. But who checks that woman? You know what I mean? That's the Does point. something bad have to happen to her? Which in most cases it does. Like it has to backfire for her to stop. I don't condone violence, man. But like I said, in this day and age, I question everything when it comes down to male female relationships, especially when it's domestic. I question everything. You can sit out there and say, well, oh, yeah, you, 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 man, fuck you too. I'm asking if the motherfucker go upside her head, what she do? Because it wasn't always ugly. Right. When, 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 when did the, when did the car make the U-turn? When did it, when did it get ugly? That's the question I got. It, everything else, yeah, man, I, I'm questioning every goddamn thing. And, and now I understand why most police officers, they hate to go out to domestic calls because at the same time, shit, they know nine times out of ten, there's always that opportunity for them to get back together, charges drop, they move right on, and potentially they put themselves in harm's way trying to come to someone else's aid. Yeah, they're going to they're going to arrest the man or the woman and whoever is free, then jump on the cops for trying to arrest the woman or the man, whoever it is it's in those situations. Problem. So, right. yeah, you're dealing with that kind of thing. But it's hard to people say, well, just walk away. It's hard to turn away from things that you have emotionally invested in. Financially invested in and gave the most valuable commodity you have that you can't get back because you can get money. You can get resources, you can get all that back, but you can't get your time back. Time is the most valuable thing that you waste. And then at the same time as a man, your character is always being assassinated in question. Especially when you're in a position where somebody is comparing you to something they had in their past. This is what I say to that. If you got to continue to reference your own past, the problem is you. I'll say this, in vetting all your relationships, right? You think about how many goddamn relationships you've been in, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody didn't get it wrong. Nope. That's all everybody. Take a look at yourself first. What did you do? Mm-hmm. You, everybody plays a part. <clears throat> yeah. Everybody plays a part. Not to say that all the time it's you, not to say all the time it's them. It could be a combination of them, you know, you and them. So we all play a part. Now, if your hands were clean in the situation, then, you know, they was clean, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which happens as well. And I don't like how also people throw that bucket of you had to do something. Sometimes you really didn't do anything mm -hmm. at all. You, it's just the other person doesn't want to be wrong. So they try to grab you up in there and your hands are clean. There you go. So, you know, I think people really need to take a look at themselves. Like, did I do everything I was supposed to do? You know? Um, and if you can truly answer yes, okay. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Clear heart, you know? Um, and do what you're supposed to do. But if, if you did something, if you need to go get that right, go get it right. Mm -hmm. And then work on yourself. That part. Which most won't. They believe that I, I got to get what I got to get now. I'm going to find it or get with something until I can get what I want to get. And then it's all temporary. And by that time, they're too old to be even doing any goddamn thing. I can't do you temporary know, people. You got to. Well, I mean, no, no, let me retract that. 
we're, everything's temporary, but what I'm saying is that I'd like folks that have a, a level of loyalty and looking for the long haul as opposed to the, what I'm feeling today. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, well, I can't say everybody, but a lot of people are, as they call it, the microwave generation. They want it now. They want it now. Mm -hmm. They can't, they can't do the work now to benefit later. There's, they don't see the value in that. Mm -hmm. And they don't see it with people either. Doing the work of getting to know somebody, taking your time, you know actually learning that person they figure oh i got time to do that no you need to learn them now like who are you with today yeah because they're not going to be the same person as they are today a year from now you know you know what kills me with people usually in relationships let's say you have issues with somebody right Mm -hmm. and then they say well i need space man or female women Mm -hmm. or male or female you know that space teaches or gives a person an opportunity to do life without you. Mm -hmm. You get acclimated to doing life without them. Mm -hmm. You know, they say 21 days, anything becomes a habit. And if you draw in that kind of space, then you begin to uh, gain new perspectives on things that you take into your psyche or your spirit. Prime example, you turn on the TV, you got 28 day marriage, um, divorce court. (laughs) You got all this shit, you know, love and hip hop. You got all this, garbage out here that the average individual is actually going to see even scrolling down in their new outside their social media and it becomes a part of their perspective and this is where we got this i ain't got to do this shit because i can do better or i can do better i ain't got to do this shit you know what i mean when all actuality it was never that bad it's just that you weren't focused or open enough to receive the value in what you actually have. So being tricked by the enemy to continue to have the speculative thought that you can do better will keep your garden dry and desolate because you ain't water or nothing. <laughs> I say that grass is green is where you water it. Mm-hmm. They think it's green on the other side, but who's watering that grass that you're looking at? Yeah, well, shit. I believe like this, man. If you got to get somebody else to water your grass, you need to have a conversation before you make that move to even get the grass watered and, and, you know, deal with your people, man. Cause a lot of accept your truth, you know, but you got to be able to talk about your truth and perpetuate the understanding of your truth to who you are having this truthful conversation with and how it even got to that point. Cause a lot of times, man, we, we, we have, we're in a relationship, but we're also in relationship in the relationship in our own freaking minds. Right. So we make make a decision about something, but we haven't even talked to the individual we, we the individual that we're with. So we make the decision to go and do something. It's like cheating. It's a choice. Mm-hmm. I chose to go and do it, but I did it without the knowledge of the person that I'm with. And whatever the blowback is, it's just gonna be what it is. And with the fellas I talk to, this is what a lot of them are saying that these broads have made decisions without even talking to me. They have no mm-hmm. clue what they've done wrong or what they have uh, uh, been uh, deficient in or anything of that nature which further lets me tell them she never wanted you you were an idea she was in love with the idea of you not the responsibility of you so the more you stay the deeper you're going to get and you have to have that understanding that what is going to give you peace or peace of mind you got to separate it may hurt for a time but you'll get over it and get on with it but um if you stay around long enough, you're a sucker for punishment, and this person's gonna make you punish them at some point in time. And yeah, 